Good morning everyone. Welcome back to my channel Natalia with you. We are going to review today our company from Chronictron and check out their diamond painting kits that we did unboxing with you. Uh, I will be um, uh, editing to my description under the video I will add for you link to my unboxing just for in case if you are new on my channel you didn't see my unboxing um, I just want to put pull out some of the tools that we're going to review today okay uh, these tools we don't need for now okay so we will check out this uh, multi placers and see how many diamonds they can hold also I already um, put my diamonds in the containers to be honest it's not bad almost all colors fit in here nicely besides just a few uh, bags that didn't fit in here if package are too full and that's why they were uh, bags so I have even few bags left over two or more I think it was a more uh, two three I still have ten bags left so all in total it was ten bags in this kit as well good size of the bags if I wouldn't put uh, very very full some of these containers like I barely fit but it still fit for example like some of this like blue it's really really full so all the bags extra that would place in here what I did for example if some of this uh, some of this diamonds didn't fit in here I would just put in those extra bags that I've received with this kit just uh, you know with the same bag on the inside zip and this is going to be my refill or usually what I do I leave uh, uh, extra diamonds in here and I start from these bags to eliminate this extra that it's already open right so that's what I would do uh, I organize them just by the numbers from 1 to 28 and what's funny thing is the canvas is exactly 28 colors of DMC um, numbers so this is just like a perfect match to this canvas which is really impressive right so I will pick uh, some color and we will test it out for example uh, you know it looks the same like my other can, um, tray that I always use in. I think so. If I can pull out my tray, where is my old tray? Uh, okay, I'm not gonna look for that right now. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and test it out. And let me see what kind of color I wanna pick. So I'm just gonna put some diamonds on a tray. Uh, I don't want to work with black right now, so maybe something that is uh, good for using a multi-placer. Maybe something on the sky in here. And I'm just going to watch out. I'm going to move canvas a little bit further. I will pick something in here, F. That way we will see how big this multi-placer and how many diamonds we will place with it. Okay. So... F it's a number 17 17 and I have already in here 17 okay this is the extra bag it's absolutely not open yet so I guess 17 that's one of those that I I just showed you I didn't even know that's the number I mean we need so I'm gonna put first I'm gonna try I never kind of well, maybe I tried before this one, but you know what? I'm going to start from first tray to the other and see. Okay, you have to be very careful to open. And even if they close tight right now, I still always hold them with my fingers lit on the top 
just for in case if I let go loose it's not gonna spill and make a mess for me okay because um, like right now it's holding okay but I know the more you use these containers the lids of closure could be loose uh, and start to pop and up open very easily for now it's brand new so it looks okay and I did not work with this kind of trays for so long I don't think I ever even used them just maybe for the sake of review video and I can see like you know it's lots of them they go like to the sides it's hard to uh, put them in a good lines to use for multiplacer because this tray is good for one use only like one by one would be okay right so let's put these diamonds into our next tray and see if the same amount of diamonds will be lined up better so usually I close in here grab with my two fingers like this and shake could be shake first this way to, to spread them all the way around the tray and then from side to side by cranking a tray from side to side and it's almost spread all the way around now I'm just gonna shake a little bit down tap it shake it and here you go in here lines already looks much better and it's ready to use so now you know what let's just try this one for the first time because I have this kind of tray I think maybe in a green color um, it's the same color I'm not sure but let's see for this tray I might will have to use more diamonds but I just want to see if this one will be work for the purpose what we need for this video okay just a minute and tap 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 well I would say they here line up lines really nice let's see if we can get them into the edge all right this tray feels better than I thought it would be so now we're gonna test it out our drill pans to see how much wax they can take it and not work not how much wax but how many diamonds will stick to each of them so just a minute let's continue to test our multi-placers because I really want to know how many drills exactly can fit on this big side well my guess would be maybe nine uh, let's see if I'm right so I'm gonna peel one of these brand new bricks and we'll see this little brick well it's actually if I go on an angle make sure I'm on a camera if I'm on an angle I will be able to actually fill in the whole thing all right, so we're gonna start from the big one, then we're gonna get through the small one. I'm gonna fill them all with the wax. First, we're gonna peel it one side, and I'm just gonna stick right in the angle because it's the biggest one. Kind of wiggle from side to side to let the wax get in. I usually even see like a rub in here so the wax go separate and not pull back when I open like this see one side kind of ready to come out but then you nice and gentle okay so we refill one of them let's continue I'm gonna get this one too this one is really uh, the thin one, if you have arthritis, it could be not very comfortable to work with because it's harder to hold it and there's no grip that will fit to this little one. Okay, a little bit more than a corner in here. All right, one side. Now we're going to get a smaller side. 
sometimes wax need to be refilled like twice because right now it looks like it's full but when you start pushing the diamonds the wax can go more deeper so you will have to refill it but for now it's okay and thank you so much for all your kind comments um, many of you like this review of this kit many of you find that this is great uh, kit to have as a present for Christmas and they have a different picture so this is just a one of the picture uh, that I picked now I'm gonna put uh, should we do this multi no I'm gonna put multi not the multiplacer but one I'm gonna get one in here as well and then we have a triplacer we're just gonna fill them all all right we are good in here now let's test and I was just looking at before I turn my camera on oh sorry as you can tell I already put a light pad as well to test it out but I didn't mean to touch it uh, yes so the tweezers they are plastic but before I received tweezers they would open and just like like this and you can't even grab any diamond this one a little bit more wider I don't know if all of them like this in a kit but when I try to pick diamonds you see they catch the diamond every single time so I don't know it could be very comfortable to place diamonds as well because it's a round one we're not going to be able to pick two at a time but uh, when I will work one day with the square diamonds we can test it out as well but usually I use uh, only if I have to pick maybe like a puppy or cat fur off the canvas so that's what like I'm using tweezers for but I have to say that this tweezer is better than sometimes I receive with different diamond painting and actually I can catch diamonds with it so it's already plus but still my favorite it's a metal uh, and if company listening to me I would really recommend to place in here metal tweezers not the stainless steel but the one that I always use in my videos now the moment of truth I pour more diamonds to create more lines for the testing and then I line up in this blue tray I should pick different color I kind of didn't realize that it's going to be exactly matching color to the thread isn't it interesting okay let's see how many diamonds we can pick I can tell already that it could be one of the diamonds on the uh, outside I don't think it is supposed to be picked or maybe my wax is sticking out a little bit further and cre create like an extra pick hold on I'm zoom too close there I feel like this diamond in on this side should be like fall down but let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay ten but I think it's a nine placer uh, let me pull them down kind of fix my make sure there's nothing sticking out and I will try one more time Okay, now I think it's the right amount it's supposed to be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So definitely this is nine placer. And on this side we have one placer, okay? Nine placer and one placer. Sometimes they do have a numbers how many diamonds you can pick, but this one doesn't have it. Uh, now let's test it out the orange one. So I'm gonna start with the longer placer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, nine placer as well. Yeah, so because when I measure them kind of this way, I knew they kind of looks the same. So this is both of them nine placers and this one pick looks like a nice 
straight line pick really nice on this one so what we have in here maybe six or seven I feel like this one is too many I have to try one more time uh, one two three four five six maybe this is seven placer let me try one more time one two three four five six seven but see like this one is more sticking out to the side so it's around six or seven diamonds so we can call it seven placer but i think it's meant to be without this one tip for the six but definitely it can catch a seven okay so we have a two nine placer one seven placer or six placer and then let's see this one as like usually kind of regular size that you would normally receive I think one two three four five six oh squirrel just jump on my window let me fix it I feel like it's not enough walks a little bit to the end one two three four five six seven i still think that this one diamonds shouldn't be here so if you same thing as the orange one six to seven kind of different why right, right? Uh, now this one definitely will be trip placer and i cannot find like i don't have yet uh four placer i don't even know how it looks like but this one is a trip placer and we have one placer of course that will work perfectly fine now I will try to work with this uh, sorry I got off the camera I want to try to work with this big placer as I did not work for two years I think last time I worked with this one so let's see if I can create straight line with it and I'm gonna reshake my diamonds just to go up and down okay like this way and then from side to side to get a little bit like off or even on an angle okay now I have a lots of lines in here and they are really good actually line up in this tray and by the way here you go presentation if you want to take a break you just Put your pen in here so it doesn't run out of the table because sometimes my pen just rolling down on the floor and I have to look for it. Uh, for example, if this would be this one, this can, this can roll on the floor. This way just leave rest in here and it's perfect. Let me zoom to the point where we want to place our diamonds and that would be um, on the symbol F, if I remember correctly I will have to let me just readjust a little bit camera together with you right now like this and by the way yes I do have a light pad underneath the one that came with this kit so I'm gonna put right to the edge in here let me move over a little bit uh, where we are I'm just gonna put point make sure maybe here we're gonna do okay here looks like a lots of line in here I might gonna even zoom out a little bit so you can see better all right glue in here so beautiful and I'm gonna put my diamonds tray right not a tray but container right on the top in here to hold my clear sheet so I can kind of put a little bit more flat but also let me try to see if we can work in here with the light pad or not two and three three I think is a little bit too bright this is no light one sentence two and three it's a little bit too bright I think let's turn it off and go just one 
this is on the first sentence and I think it looks perfectly good in here so let's pick some diamonds uh, if you don't mind, I will put diamonds on my placer off the camera because I want you to see more how I will place and let's see if we can create straight lines with you. As you remember before, I was doing tutorial of walking tutorial, how to place this multi-placer and here is almost like a whole line will be covered. So now we have to see if this is will cover in a perfect distance between each diamond or it's going to squish line lower to make it smaller so let's see I'm going to place my diamond first diamond on the first letter F and I walk and here is our first line let's do another one sometimes multiplacer could be a little bit crooked like not straight a little bit like a band and your line would be crooked as well if you place it this one looks pretty good to me I would say sometimes um, I think I have this one pen before from Amazon and if we look closely I think this part is kind of like a banded little bit so maybe that's what I'm talking about I don't know and make it feel like it's not comfortable but we will see so let's place one more right in the first diamond and then we walk. Oh, well, I think it's going very well. Let me get one more. Um, many times when I do a multi-placer with the, maybe this is canvas also very pre perfect for this multi-placer because when I was working on my uh, skinny white seven placer, the one I always use in, in my video, uh, sometimes when I put my diamonds on a first diamond and I have to kind of push over a little bit to close. With this one, I don't have to do that yet. So let me place a few more lines. Because this is definitely ideal for the big backgrounds if you have with the same colors. This will speed up diamond painting progress. Let me try go the other way. If I place this one first and walk towards me. Wow, the lines is perfect. Now what I want to test it out, let me see how many diamonds, uh, a little bit, I need to find a longer line, okay. I want to see back to back in one line if this will create um, like a separation between them or not, like a gap between diamonds, that's what I want to uh, explore right now. So I'm going to place, I'm going to place my first line. And I messed up here a little bit, a little tiny, not big deal. And I'm going to place now continuous line and I want to see if this will create gap in here. It could be because it depends how beads stick into the pen. I think for me it's more comfortable go that way because I kind of flush in myself for the lights and cannot see it very well. So for that little thing to fix, we have in a kit this wonderful big straightener. Then literally I'm just gonna very very slightly so push my line to make it more straight. Also, what we can do, let me try something else. I'm just going to flatten my diamonds. If you're afraid not to have a line very straight, sometimes I did, a while ago I did a tutorial, so when I place my straightener tool just like this, right, I find my center. And then I just like push it into my straightener 
and that should create very very straight line all right so this one is pretty good wow i like this placer uh this is could be my neck okay let me just before i get too excited let me zoom you a little bit more close so you can see oh no that's getting foggy getting after focus when i do a little bit more close i will try let's see if it's gonna fit here maybe i will try to do let's try to do horizontal one line why not why not let's try horizontal we have a lots of space in here to explore let me just get a diamonds on my pen. I don't think I placed them a little bit. Okay, now another thing I want to point it out. If you pick your diamonds and doesn't feel like it's straight, usually I put back into the tray and I kind of like a pushing them to the side of this grid to make my line more straight if I have to, like this, okay? That way it's gonna be more, more straight on the pen. But I think I messed up in the first place because one of my diamonds didn't stick very well in here, like was a little bit further, but that's okay. I can fix it just by pushing it. So let me try to do horizontal and see if this will perform <laughs> okay let me find another word if this will do the same good job as vertical so now I'm gonna place again my first diamond and I walk okay do we see any like a separation between those two steps I don't think so I don't think so Okay, it looks like I'm having a fun. Okay, I'm gonna go from this side and go that way. Wow. This is gonna be so a game changer for me to, to work on a big canvases with the lots of background. Look how nice and straight that look like. And it's so much faster. Now let me try to work a little bit with the smaller one, this one orange one, because it is different. If you look, if you look them this way, uh, you probably can tell or you don't that orange one a little bit thinner. I don't know if you can see or not, maybe color this guys in a little bit. Uh, from this side, they maybe look the same, but the visually, I would say that this one a little bit more skinnier. So let's try. Let me pick some diamonds on this one. And they, I just love the way how perfect. Why is it? Whoa, my camera go cuckoo. Look how perfect diamonds picked on this one. So let's do again a vertical and see if this placement will place exactly the same good or we're gonna have a little bit of mess. Okay, this one didn't stick one. I need a more wax I need a more wax for this one because this side a little bit cave in. Well let's try one more time. Okay, one more time. work this time and then I just gonna put four diamonds only in here to close this gap in here there I don't think it's okay let me reshake my tray to make a more fresh lines So we can play a little bit more with this orange one. Actually, I will play right now with this. We just try with this big one. Now we will try with the smaller one. Okay. So this is definitely six placer. 
belong to sex placer. But right now, one extra stick to the side. You see, so now it's gonna be seven. So that one that's seven, I'm just gonna leave it to the end. To want the extra stuck. Uh, I can see that I didn't do a very well job and that's what happened when multiplacers start to messing up the lines with you. You can probably tell from where your angle you watch and you can see that a little bit number, I mean a letter F picking stick from the bottom. And when you do again multiplacer this will get more and more and more visible. So your best way to fix it just a little bit cover so none of the black letter symbols don't pick out or literally you grab your straightener and you push towards those little black dots that sticking out from the symbol this way you will also straighten up your diamonds and hide your imperfections but the way I look right now it's pretty looking good and straight so uh, I don't have nothing bad to say about this multiplacer I would say a year ago probably last time when I was working with this kind of clear multiplacer and usually I'm like it's kind of thick in here around and ignore my nails um, I find that this one a little bit more creating gaps and my battery is dying so we're gonna finish this video very quickly I just wanted to test it out and see so let's place uh, one two Three. Um, this one stuck accidentally to my which I could use tweezers but I pick up with my hand what do you know okay Get a something stuck probably I put it from my hand something like a crumb or something okay so here is what we have before my battery die completely I think it also depends on the quality of the canvas grid uh, because sometimes the square of the grid could be or bigger or or smaller and diamonds not gonna line up proper way in this situation even this big multiplacer layer very very nicely and let me take you off the tripod and show you close-up lines where we created I turn uh, my light for the third sentence it's very very bright so you can see from the top here is where we create this this long one looks really nice and connected proper way in here maybe when we did uh, two of them together you can see probably when was two of them connected lines right in here so you can a little bit fix together and fix it after all is good now let me turn off the light so we can see it this way diamonds are beautiful and the big multiplacer are really impressed looks good need to be fixed a little bit with the um, straightener because I can see that plus for the camera is not good angle for me to look but I can see there's a little bit like a miss coordinated line in here I have to fix every straightener just to push this straight but other than that it's beautiful I love this kit I really recommend for the gift as a Christmas time you know for the Christmas time as a gift um, canvas really really sticky diamonds diamonds gorgeous see a few round bits up there like mini mini tiny bits um, diamonds kind of left whatever is left from machinery but diamonds itself gorgeous right canvas itself print 
very clear. So I would say this uh, first kind of like test successful and the picture is, is beautiful itself. So good luck. If you wish to order, definitely it's a good canvas and beautiful kit to have for the beginners especially. Have a good day everyone. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not yet and see you next time.